What's up everybody, my name's Eli, this is my wife Emily. We are wedding cinematographers here in North Carolina and today we're going to have a little bit of fun and react to my very oldest wedding videos and uh, see what's different, see what's the same. Um, Emily, have you seen any of my oldest wedding videos? I've seen Steven and Daniela's. Okay, I think we're gonna be watching theirs today. I think that might have been the only one of the old ones okay. I've seen. Yeah, so I, I just went through and I looked through my YouTube channels, okay? So um, I thought they were all on my channel that we're uploading this to. However, they're not. There was a couple of them that were on my old channel that's just called Eli Powell. Um, and so if you really want to see <laughs> some of the things I used to do in high school and everything, feel free to go check that out. I don't know if you should advertise that. Yeah, I don't know if I should either. I might, I might not leave that in there. <laughs> okay, so this first one is, this is my first wedding video ever. And uh, this was for some friends of ours. Their names were uh, Aaron and Alyssa. If I remember right, I filmed this on my phone oh. as well as my <laughs> sister's phone. Oh, no. And in a small... DJI Osmo, like the little gimbal. Do you remember that one? Yeah. yeah. That's what this is filmed on. Um, so this is before I had a camera or anything. So we'll see. I haven't seen this in a while. I'm kind of nervous, not gonna lie. Who's singing? Them. Hang on, let me check if I can up that quality. I decided to use their music that they sang in their ceremony for oh, the wow. beginning. So was it the family mm -hmm. or was the it whole congregation? congregation yeah. oh, oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I feel like it's going to be hard to really cringe at this one though because I like them so much. I know. Way back. <laughs> Ooh. Their singing is so nice. Yeah, it's really nice. It kind of covers up the terrible shots. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> According to the ordinances of the Church of Christ and the power vested in me by the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce your husband and wife in the name Aww. of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. You may now kiss your wife. Oh wow. That's a dip. <laughs> <laughs> they practiced that. Yeah. So where did this music come from? I can't remember. It wasn't there, was it? No, this is from some licensing site. The door. <laughs> to free music obviously. Yeah, I feel like we're in like a youth group video now. <laughs> Ooh, 12 frames per second. Oh my goodness. I forgot about this. But I like seeing all the kids playing, that's adorable. Yeah, lots of kids. Ooh. <laughs> just see you running around this event just like oh can you can you light this candle for me yeah <laughs> it was shot in the dark yes I can do that this is cringe man oh that's really cool yeah it was cozy so they must have one of those deals where they they all set up the tables in between yeah yeah <laughs> never film with people eating. Such a bad idea. <laughs> I think the non-licensed music is throwing me off. Yeah. Keep going. <laughs> this mini video should have been like two minutes long. Yeah. The little kids with the fake instruments, that's adorable. Yeah. Oh, 
The fade. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. They went all out on that one. <laughs> what is that? Those rocks, dude. They oh. put rocks on their windshield. Did they ruin the windshield? I don't know. I mean, despite the quality, it's hard not to like that video. Oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, they're just so sweet and everything. Yeah, like I think, I think it goes to show that like, if you have a good couple um, and a good story, like anything of the wedding is gonna be nice. Um, however, like the music choice, absolute cringe. Um, <laughs> some of my creative decisions, also absolute cringe. Um, Your lighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, the absence of lighting. Um, what else do you think? The how to train your dragon moment coming down the aisle behind the <laughs> the little flower girls. <laughs> like you were trying to be a drone the, or something. Yeah, I was all I was having fun with my little new gimbal and I was just like, <laughs> you know, I was like going all over the place like, oh, this is so cool. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was super smooth. Like I could shoot that level of stabilization handheld now like that but i thought in, in my mind at that point that that was like as stable as you could possibly get how old were you uh i was 20 i was 17. okay i was so, gonna say 20. yeah 17. no i was 17. i would say that could have been condensed into like two minutes like not super far in it lost me it yeah. was just kind of like this video didn't really hold my attention at all but all things considered, for a family member or friend doing something yeah, like that, for free. it really was not bad. Yeah. You still had audio. Yeah, I <laughs> still had some audio <laughs> from the phone. <laughs> okay, so do you know anything about this one? Like you haven't seen this, this video before? I don't think I have, but there's a good chance yeah. I might have and I just forgot. Okay, so th these are my cousins. So this was like a free family wedding video. I think they called me last minute to do this one. Yeah. And I think I had just got my uh, my camera, like my uh, Canon Rebel SL2, like my first camera. I don't even know if you remember that camera. Yeah, this I don't know probably, if I do. I think I sold it before I met you. But um, <laughs> so this was, I had a real camera and I had my fly cam. So I had a stabilizer. I was all decked out at this point. And how old were you? Ah, what's the date on this one? Four years ago. Four years ago. It's crazy how much can happen in four years, isn't it? <laughs> 18 year old Eli. Yeah. A camera and a, and a drone? I don't think I had it. Did I have did a drone? drone? I don't think so. This one's a lot shorter. Yeah, this one's only two minutes long, so we'll see what I did. Ooh. That shy angle. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. The fade. Shooting from the balcony. It's so jittery. It's almost like a series of jump cuts that all parallax the same way. Yeah. balances. You have improved a lot on that. Yeah. It's like they're behind bars. <laughs> like, Are they in jail now? <laughs> Ball and chain. A lot shorter. 
Yeah, a lot more condensed. So what are your first thoughts about that one? <laughs> it was mainly the white balance that got me. Yeah. Yeah, so everything really, was very yellow. It's like the epitome of having a camera and not knowing how to use it yet. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. That's how I felt. That because it was like like you mentioned at one point, it was like the same movement over and over again, just jump yeah, cut. Yeah. Um, no audio. Obviously I didn't have any mics for like miking the groom or including any other valves or anything like that. I would say that's the main thing I noticed was the, the absence of any type of sound design whatsoever. Yeah. It looked like you were overthinking the shots and trying yeah. to be as creative as possible. Yeah, yeah. When with something that simple, I think you could have stuck with just like more basic angles and right. it would have looked a lot better. Simple movements. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's kind of like, and I've seen this happen so many times where like, you know, you have the newbie who gets his gimbal or, or his new stabilizer or whatever and their instant thing is like, oh, I want to do a shot running next to this thing just because I can. And it's like, it's a lack of intentionality, you know? Yeah, it's like you want to break out all the tricks first. Yeah. You're like, let's do all yeah. these cool things. I also, I hope, I don't know who the photographers were at that wedding. I have no idea, but um, I feel bad for them now. <laughs> I hope I wasn't in their way. Oh my goodness. Oh, were you the videographer? The yeah. one that's like, the hotshot videographer running yeah. all over the place in the worst spots? I don't think so. Okay, because most of those shots were like on the outside, from okay. the outside in. So I don't think I was being that guy. I know I didn't set up a, like a tripod in the aisle right up front or, right. you know, one of those horror stories. I just think about the stories I've heard where the guy is like, he's filming normally and then all of a sudden you see him come behind the couple and behind the officiate and he's trying to get the shot <laughs> yeah. and the photographers are like, <laughs> they're like, oh, come on. So I could have improved sound design. Uh, I could have just been a better cinematographer from the start. You could have just been better, Eli. Yeah, do better. Yeah. Um, and then also, I think knowing my camera settings better would have helped. Okay, so this one is like, it felt kind of like my first legitimate wedding video because I was getting paid. <laughs> 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 I, think I, I think they paid me like 400 bucks. And I, I thought that was something else, honestly. And also I borrowed a drone from one of my friends. I still don't think I was using mics or anything. So I don't think if I remember right, I've seen this one a little bit more recently than the other ones. Um, I don't think there's really a whole lot of sound design going on. Before we start, how old are you? I need to keep this. Oh, you need to keep it in the timeline. Yeah. I'm guessing. November 18, this was in November. So th this is about almost like a year after that last one we just watched. So you had progressed a little further. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Let's see. Up there. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Ooh, I like that shot. Yeah, definitely slower. Better white balance. Yeah, much better white balance. Can I see that, please? Yeah. Already, this is like way better. Yeah, this is much better. We as humans are messed up. But marriage has a ton of potential to bring healing and restoration to us. Yeah, it needs it needs something to fill up the empty space, yeah. but it's not bad. The visuals are pretty good. This was a fun wedding. This was a really fun wedding. Where did they get married at? Some um, Winston Salem. Because 
because you have here in the sight of God and the presence of his company made your vows unto one another until death do you part. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, according to the laws of the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce that you are oh, husband and wife. Oh, I did it. I did you, the thing. You were the guy. I was the guy. <laughs> How did you get away with that? <laughs> Ooh. I love the smoke. Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool. I can see little Eli getting so pumped that he did that. Oh, yeah. Classic family portraits. <laughs> I hate family portraits in video. <laughs> I would say this is the main, the main ice cube in the video so far. Yeah, this is... It's not been bad so far. Yeah. That's not a bad camera movement. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you got a DJ shot. Mm -hmm. Stubs. <laughs> Ooh, fade out on the Yeah. End. Okay, I'm actually kind of impressed looking back at that one. Yeah, the improvement between that one and yeah. Casey and Trey's was quite a bit. Oh, yeah, quite a bit. If I remember right, I, don't, I really don't remember, but I know I knew a lot more. Like going into this one, I was a lot I more prepared tell. in terms of knowledge and everything. I do remember this being like super stressful um, because I was running around filming everything by myself. Um, obviously didn't have a second shooter until you came along. So <laughs> no, it, it kind of stayed that way for a long time, but I made it work. I got a lot of the shots that I, I wanted and needed. Yeah, I could tell you improved quite a bit. The weird thing is it seems like your white balance went from being that yellow yeah. to almost a blue. Yeah, like it yeah. Almost, it seemed like- There's a lot more blue in this video. It was really cold that day. So <laughs> that might have been, <laughs> might have had something to do with it. This one, once again, I think it goes to show that like, if you have a fun couple, like that has emotion, it comes through. Oh yeah. Right? So yeah. like, I don't know. I, I always kind of advise against getting like the really cheap videographer and and, and yeah, I, I do recommend not doing that, especially because it can ruin your experience of the wedding day. Like, it, yeah, I'd rather have someone yeah. you trust that's not going to be the one walking behind you during the wedding, <laughs> you know? So, you know, there's that, but at the same time, if it's a fun wedding day and everybody's just kind of chill and everything, like, that still shows that emotion. So mm -hmm. it kind of did its job, even though it may have not been the best yeah. thing ever. Just because you're not top notch starting out doesn't mean you can't film yeah yeah absolutely i think the main thing that could have improved on this one was um more sound design once again oh, yeah. a lot more sound design and also i noticed like like a lot of beginners is you can shoot slow motion so you're gonna shoot slow motion and that's all <laughs> you're gonna do and i could have definitely given that a break at some points and just let it be real time kept the original camera audio in there and it would have felt more authentic and real you know, I feel like if you were to get sick right now, like mm -hmm. had the flu or something, and I had to do a wedding by myself, this is probably what it would look like right now. <laughs> like, I, I still struggle with a lot of those settings myself. Yeah. I think visually you could definitely do at least this good by yourself. <laughs> you want to do one more? Yes. All right. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's keep in track of the timeline here. Also, four years ago, when was this? That's not necessarily the shooting date, but this was around the same time. Oh, so you're right there. <laughs> okay, this was in this was an October wedding. So this was before or after? This was before, yeah. I feel like we're gonna yeah. see a a decline. We're gonna yes. see the decline in quality now. I think so. Well, I can't remember this one very well, so I think I actually have seen this one, like when I used to stalk your YouTube when I was younger. This one's on this channel, and yes. it's. It's public. It's actually not unlisted. <laughs> <laughs> Already though, I love the lamp. It so. might be unlisted after this. <laughs> let's watch. All right, let's check it out. Track title, fancy. transition.
Oh, this was, yeah, October 15th. Everyone pauses it to read her letter. <laughs> Ooh, I like those lights, though. I want to do that. Yeah. I'm getting decor ideas from this video. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Did you use the same song the whole video? I can't remember. Once again, we're getting a lot of slow motion here. Very slow. Very slow. Oh, I lengthened the song right there, so yeah, it probably keeps going for a while. <laughs> there is audio. Just a little. Barely. Do you think that was in camera? I'll tell you about it after, because I remember what happened. Family portraits, here we go. <laughs> At least you broke it up a little bit. Yeah, I think that helps some. Different angles, kinda. Kinda. It's dark now. <laughs> That's the whole youth group. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Poland. <laughs> I don't think I had any lights. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I think, oh, on camera. Yeah, I had like a little panel on my camera. That was it. I, can, I can see it. <laughs> you can tell. That's deer in the headlights. This is making me think of like a wedding video in the 90s. Yes, no kidding. At least we know how to do that if we need to. <laughs> it's gonna come back in style. Yeah. It doesn't look like this is in the 90s, man. Is that sped up? No. I guess all the slow motion is throwing me off. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, oh, her sparkler was in her veil. Oh. Is that tracking from your camera? That's from the photographer's camera. Oh, okay. It's like I didn't know yours could do that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Piano. So it was, same song the whole time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it was bothering me. <laughs> uh, any, it wasn't uh, even a good song. In change of pace, it was very basic, but. I imagine like some 40 year old man in Italy playing his piano and recording that and uploading it and you're like, this is exactly this is what exactly, I wanted. Yes, yes. Like I feel kind of tired after watching that. Yes. Just cause it's, it was so, it was kind of slow, you know, yeah. like even the reception parts were like in that slow song and yeah. I didn't change it up any, so. There wasn't enough like break in the action. Yeah. So I remember um, for the ceremony, I had like a Zoom H4N that I set to auto level um, mm. to record audio. Like, and I put it in the tree to get audio. <laughs> And it just completely didn't work. I bet a squirrel went up there and cut it off. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, how dare you invade my home? Yeah, that didn't work. So I remember being like, oh, I'm going to try to use this camera audio. So what would you say I should have improved on this one? We're regressing. Like the last one that we watched was before this one, but it was actually, it happened afterwards. So it looks like I learned from this one. <laughs> I would personally say the music choice. Yeah. I think yeah. having a slow song over a high energy scene is kind of odd. Yeah. One thing I do remember is like, I didn't have any footage of the bride. I didn't communicate beforehand. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where she was getting ready. I was just there. And it was like, and I was like, oh, there's the groom. I'll go film him. And so- and, I didn't even notice that. Yeah. So, oh my goodness. So like that goes to show, I, I think regardless of the quality of this, what could have done, been done 10 times better was just pre-wedding day communication. And that's something I never did before weddings. And that's why I was always stressed when I showed up at weddings because I'm like, we're winging it. We're winging it. We're just gonna see what happens, you know? That was your business plan was <laughs> to wing everything? That was my business plan. <laughs> but I mean, that's kind of how you start. You don't know what you don't know. And yeah. Yeah, we really sound like we're hating on little Eli. But yeah, Eli four years ago. He, he just didn't know. I just didn't know. 
I didn't have a wife to keep me straight. <laughs> Communication could have helped a lot. And then in the edit, that would have helped me get better footage. And yeah. then in the edit, better music choice and potentially shortening it a little bit. And a light. Yes. Maybe turning on the lights even. Something. Just, just turning just, on the lights in the gym. We just needed lights somewhere. Yeah, you needed some more light, man. That looked like it was from the 90s right there. So the point of this video is learn from Eli's mistakes. Yes, learn from my mistakes. Don't make your own. Don't I, make mistakes. <laughs> Be perfect. Don't make mistakes, you dummy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Emily, this has been fun. It's kind of cool to see how far things have come since then. And that's only a few years. I kind of imagine it as like, you know, 10 years ago, but really that's only like four or five years ago. But a lot has happened in the last four or five years of my life. Uh, part, you know, one of those things being, I got married to her. Let us know if you liked Emily in this video, if you like my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, that's all we've got for you today. This was really fun. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for doing this with me. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for letting me come on your YouTube channel. Absolutely. It was a lot more fun than just talking to a camera alone, so. <laughs> Maybe we'll do this more in the future. I don't think people realize how lonely this is. It is, man. You like hit record, you have a whole conversation, and then there's no one else in the room. So anyways, thank you for watching this video. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.